Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is Tuesday, the day after we free jumped Chance. Oh man, that was such a good day, such a fun time. I loved that video, I loved editing it, I loved having fun with him. Even when he was walking back out to the field, I swear the boy had a pep in his step. Also had a chiropractic treatment just recently too and I think it must have made a difference because he was feeling so good anyway I have this idea you guys like what if we took Chino's shoes off I don't take his shoes off like he's not in shape like jumping shape show shape so he can't really go to a show what if we took his shoes off Gabby what if we took Chino's shoes off He'd be sore for like a couple of weeks and then he'd be good. I know, but I think we should try it at our farm where there's no rocks. So you guys are probably like, Laura, the horse needs shoes. But when we had Chino, when we first got Chino, it was the first six months. He was perfect. Like his feet didn't give us any problems at all. What's your idea? Wait, is this about Chino's feet? Because I'm in the middle of a thought. Can I say that first? Then there was like a problem. We made a mistake and he ended up getting shoes on. We were in like a group with our farrier. We didn't get to choose when our farrier came. We didn't get like even to contact him. We didn't even have his number. And all we could do for our, with our farrier was wait for the appointment and then see him then. And it just didn't work for us because our horses were on grass. None of the other horses in the group. It was because our farrier came from far away and somebody else was in, in charge of booking. But because our horses were on grass and their feet grew faster, we needed the farrier faster, sooner than the others. And I kept saying, we need the farrier, we need the farrier, but we had to just wait, we had to just wait. It's like so many things that happen that you look back at and you say like, why didn't I just say screw that farrier that I couldn't have access to when we needed him and get somebody different. So anyway, we had to wait and because we were waiting and he was on grass and his feet was and his feet were growing faster than the other people in our group, his feet grew kind of like in a flat way and he ended up getting stone bruised and screwed him for the whole summer. And it's never been like awesome since then. Like uh, he ended up getting shoes because of our mistake. It was fine before that. And then we did try and take them off once. And when we did, it was like, we didn't, we hardly gave him any time. We didn't have like, we need to take his shoes off and have the expectations that it's gonna take him a while to harden up and get fixed up. And we have like so many things that we do to his feet to help keep them good. And I don't know, I wanna do it, you guys. I wanna take them off and try and like, give it an honest try, not just a, uh, not just like a, a week where he's sore, like he is gonna be sore for a little while, but less so here than like at a barn where he's running through woods and trees and rocks. Like we've got an opportunity to have him on like soft grass and I don't know. So I'm thinking, what do you guys think? All right, Sophie, what is your plan? Yeah. Go. She wants to train her horse to run, stop and spin. <laughs> Molly's like, oh, spin! <laughs> anyway, we're just cleaning up the arena. Clearly the girls had a heyday in here yesterday. Cleaning up the arena every day is like cleaning up after your family has a big party and you wake up in the morning and they've left all their stuff behind. Because every day it's clean and then I wake up in the morning and it's not. So it rained last night. Your plan of thinking. And this morning and now, now the ground is a bit wet. Not so wet, see how like we have it dipped down so that the rain comes down here. It's drier up there, but I hate rainy season. Do and they can walk. Yeah. Do you hate rainy season? No, because I'm running trail in the arena and they can get fed to the chickens. What is the best part about fall? Um, you? well I want to see if Daisy will jump through a pile, pile of leaves. Um, also, it's your birthday season. Oh yeah. And my birthday season. I forgot about that. 
it absolutely needs to dry out before I can finish cleaning up the poo. I know I keep saying it, but man, I really want to clean my barn. We have like, I have so many projects, so many half projects. Whoa, so many things that I want to get done. Need to feed the kitty. Did you see the kitty today? Yeah, I took photos of him. You took photos? All right, send me a photo. We'll put it in. He looks grumpy. He's always kind of looked like a grouchy cat. But he is a sweet There's boy. There's a chicken. That's uh, your favorite chicken. No, that's yours. Oh, mine. So Aww. that one. Aww. That one. No, look at me. Show the other one. Yeah, that one is adorable. He meowed at me. Aww. That looks good, though. We give him flea and tick medicine every month, so we are always like trying to get down here and catch him before he disappears again. Well, hello, handsome man. So, Gabby's been hand walking Chino a lot, doing little rides to keep him going, keep him in shape. Hi! And he's just enjoying a life of leisure. Maybe getting a bit too chunky. Why is it hotter out here? It is so hot out here. Let's go get our horses. So we don't want him to like get out of shape completely. Wow. It's so hot. Suddenly out here. it's like a heat wave. When we walk down and we're like, oh, it's sweater, sweater weather. Sweater weather, sweater. That's what I said. Say that five times fast. Sweater. I was able to say it without messing up. Say it five time. times fast. Sweater weather, sweater weather, sweater lever, sweater clever. <laughs> sweater weather, sweater weather, sweater weather, sweater weather. Yeah, you guys get Spider. it. You guys get it. Honestly, look how nice our grass is trimmed down. <laughs> like, it's so cute. We have patches of completely eaten down. Well, that's all prickles right there. Yeah, they're all prickles. Line's all prickles. Once they're done for the season, Sam will come out. Hi. And make sure that he cuts everything down. Come on, Gracie. It's weird to see them eating those prickly bushes though. Like, could you imagine? Look how careful she is. That's disgusting, Penny. She's also eating lots of tall grass. She mixes it up. She's like, I'll have some prickles and then I'll have some grass. And more prickles. I also find that she does this thing where she sees me coming and she shoves her mouth full as fast as she can. Ew, that is gross. And then some grass. Sylvia has a plan. And she's already started. Okay, oh, she just spun. And Penny's like, wait, I need I see one more. Really nice prickly bush. It just looks so good. I have to get it. <laughs> just wait. She has to get it. Oh, now she needs the grass. Prickles and grass. Prickles and grass. <laughs> she doesn't like the, st the stem. She just wants the top of it. Anyways, the reason I'm talking about lunging chance is because I just finished editing the video. Just getting some carrots. So, just finished editing the video and it will go up tonight and it was so much fun like just seeing his actual personality coming through like someone said in yesterday's video that he's coming out of his shell and maybe that's what it is like do you guys think like he was shy and confused and like oh here I am again in another home and now he's like I noticed the last few times we've been with him that he's like, oh, you guys are my family. So, I don't know, I, I don't know, like, what do you guys think about that? Like, <laughs> I'd love to ask you guys what you think. Yeah. All right, so, Miss Sophie and the little amazing Willow are training to do something new. Good, you got me the whole bag. So, Sophie's gonna practice something with Willow and then she's gonna show us what she can do. So, she has a goal. All right. Okay. All right. So we're gonna go away and we're gonna turn off the camera, and she's gonna work on it. What she's working on. Okay. So right now I'm making her spin. So she's working on making her spin. So she wants her to be able to go forward a couple of steps, stop, and spin. Hold on. Hold on. I'm doing this wrong. Hold on. Hold on. She's doing it wrong, Willow. Just hold on. Hold on. Um, it's so funny though. Like when I look through the camera lens, Willow looks like a perfect size. Almost a perfect weight. She looks way thinner than she looks in real life. Oh, the drama. Can so oh, she did it. I was going to say, can Sophie make her do it? But the horse is a genius. Let's see. Let's give one more. Let's see if she'll do it one more time. All right. So let's see. Sophie learned this yesterday on TikTok. The girl. <laughs> 
<laughs> that is amazing. So we're gonna show you guys in about 10 minutes after she's perfected it a little bit. She realized this and she's like, oh, I got this. Yeah, she's got this. See, the first time it took me like five minutes. Let's see if we can get an idea of how chubby Willow is. She's not as chubby as some other minis I've seen. Yeah, Oops. I just whacked her. But, oh, she still looks, she doesn't look that bad in the camera, actually. Or <laughs> even in real life. But she's a bit bloated right now coming off the grass. After I teach her to spin, then I'll move on to making her You walk. can see her belly on both sides of her. <laughs> but she's going into winter and she's going to need that. <laughs> This is, why, this is why I love her. Because I struggle once, maybe twice, and she realizes it. Yeah, and then she gets it. Like, she's amazing. I gotta... She has to remember how to do it herself. <laughs> well, she used to have to put the lead robe over her neck and lay it there. Now she just leans it against her neck, and before she's even done, the horse is like... I know you know how to stand. <laughs> She's like, no, I don't. <laughs> You're so sweet. I'm supposed to wait and show you guys the finished product, but honestly, this is so freaking hilarious. Like, imagine she could do this to Chance. <laughs> I want to see if I can get Penny to do that. Not today. Yeah, Willow is special. She did it! <laughs> Somebody's like, how do I teach her without the lead room? She's like, I'll just do it, whatever you want. Keep those carrots coming. Let's <laughs> do it. Oh my goodness. You are a genius. Sophie saw this on TikTok last night and was like, Mom, Mom, Mom. I was like getting ready to edit. Mom, we have to we have to go down to the barn right now. Like, I want to go down and play with the ponies. Will you come with me? I'm like, no, I have to edit. So she's been bothering me all morning. Like, let's just go. I have to go play with my pony. Good girl. So after I did like a bunch of um Liberty with remember that's that winter that we did Liberty with our mares and after I did that with Penny I learned that like even if we struggled with something or like if something was tricky for them to learn I would like do my best and then I'd leave it for a day and then I'd come back the next day and all of a sudden they would have figured it out like it's weird it was so weird to see like how Penny would <laughs> there you go <laughs> but it was like really interesting to see like I could really see how she learns like how she would process things even after we weren't doing it we were gone and then I would like walk into the arena and then she would understand and she would know later you can kind of see it the way that how I show you guys good girl how I show you girls she had Morocco like there how like when we walk into the arena like just we the girls are in here hanging out just chilling getting out of the sun we walk into the arena and willow goes to sophie's side and starts to follow her wherever she goes or penny will walk over and start pushing things like they learn what they they process it and then when you come back they have an expectation of what's expected of them that's different from when you left them like it's just weird horses are interesting and weird So does she need to spin like a whole bunch of times in a row? No, just once. Just once? Sophie's idea or what they, the video that she watched showed was that Willow eventually is meant to trot, stop, turn, go. Stop, trot. Not turn, but like they kind of got to stop so that they can turn. Yeah, so she's going to be trotting along, stop and turn and then take off trotting again.
She's like, remember when we did poles, Sophie? <laughs> I like the poles though, Sophie. <laughs> My horse clearly is rolling, rolling. Penny, <laughs> come here, Penny. <laughs> She's like, oh, are we working today? They know it will. Penny's like, I know you gave her treats. I could hear it all happening. They could hear it. <laughs> Lost my, my gloves. I might ask for another pair for my birthday. Don't want a dirty pony. No. Anyway, she loves to be brushed. She'll just come right over and stand here while I brush her. We're going for a trail ride soon, Pen. I promise you that. Yeah, I really want to take them to the beach. Yeah, like soon. September. September, guys. Forgot my halter. Oh. Oh my gosh. My girls are so fussy. So fussy. Don't leave your halter on my hook. Don't put it on my hook. <laughs> I used to be the same it's true anyway I don't know I'm if we're gonna end the vlog here or if we're gonna uh, vlog a little more I want to go and do some homeschool shopping homeschool supply shopping so if we go I'll take you guys with us if we don't go then this is it you'll know if this is the last clip you guys see all right so we are at the bookstore and they have a section called trending on TikTok so Look at I want this. You've reached Sam. That looks cute. I want I want this. Uh my killer vacation. Yeah. You read it? The Give it back. Um I read that one. Gabby read, read that one. Alright, I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> I want to um, okay, so I always have a rule when you go to buy books. Like I oh we pick out all the books that we think we're gonna really love and then we read the first page. And if we can get past the first page, we know it's a good one. Right? So those are the two. I, I kind of an app that I read on. I so we them. just recently picked up reading the last couple of days. But anyway, I also love looking at these things. Oh, that's not comfy at all. Um, I want this. Yeah. We need some new blankets this year. I like these too. Because for homeschool, when you're sitting and you can just like make a desk on your lap. Super cool. I love this stuff. Like I'm not a decorator. and I'm not like a home person I used to be but I'm not now okay so we're gonna show you guys before we leave what books we got okay so Gabby got Assassin's Creed Blade of Shay Jun Shay or whatever you guys know she's into anime and um, she also wants another book but we have to order it from there it's graphic art graphic I don't know anyway so then she also got this forging silver into stars book it's huge we are buying, uh, we buy, we buy books for back to school because the girls read before bed most of the school year. So if you got this one, you reach Sam. Mm -hmm. She got the Baron Grounds, which looks super uh, educational and like a good story. Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, they're making fun of me. So curse, curse. I said. Okay. So Gabby got the fourth book in her series that she's already read. But you guys. I have to tell you, like, we do a lot of shopping online. Probably a lot of you guys do too. Oh, there's a car. Yes, I know there's a car. And anyways, so going out and like getting stuff for school and like going shopping other than to like Walmart and the, I don't know, like I'm noticing so many changes since COVID, like so many changes. So we bought four books, four books at the bookstore. Guess how much it was, Sam, <laughs> guess how much it was. I bought four books, I'm like. bucks. No. $97 for four books and one of them is a graphic graphic wow whatever a graphic novel books. one of them Not is a much. graphic novel $97 yeah better just download them you better just buy them online and yeah, download, download them. them 
cheaper. But anyways, uh, so like I said, the girls read every night during like Sunday to Thursday during school. Last year we tried something different. We tried reading in the mornings. They like that better and it has like some good spot, some good things about it. Like if they are doing their, their daily reading while I'm like cleaning up the house or getting stuff done before we start school, it works out. But I don't know I didn't like it as much I like them reading before bed because then they have to read for an hour before bed so then they have to get ready for bed get like their pajamas on brush your teeth do all that kind of stuff be ready for bed read for an hour and then they're ready for bed when it's bedtime instead of like get ready for bed for an hour before bedtime we all know who does that <laughs> anyway that is it for today's video I know I said comment a lot of things down in the comment section but I want to know this as well um, I want to know, have you guys noticed any big changes since COVID, like in the cost of things or the lack of availability of things? Or another thing I noticed in that store, when you used to go to the bookstore, like it's called Chapters in Canada, it's a big bookstore chain. We used to go there, there'd be like employees walking all over, ready to assist you, stocking shelves. Today, there was nobody, we couldn't find anybody. I had to go to the desk and ask them to oh, no, help us. Stuff. Was I there? Was it a man? It was a girl. Oh, why? That guy wearing all black. Like, let's go to him. And oh. I'm like, no, I'm going my own way. <laughs> okay, I didn't see anybody, but before, you couldn't miss them. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are.